Hey everybody, another video here for you today. Now, in April, we covered pretty much every state in the western part of the United States. I got a few videos coming from the Midwest in the future. I did not talk about Idaho. I did make a video on Cooper's Ferry there at the end of last year. But let's see here. Where did I get the requests from? Oh, yeah, it was Texas. Let's go down to Texas today. This is called the Bonfire Rock Shelter right down here. This is a pretty fascinating story. Here's the Rio Grande right here, and the rock shelter is right down here. And I'm not quite positive what side of this little canyon that this rock shelter is on, but here is a look at the site right down here. Here's an article I will leave below, Bonfire Shelter, but this was the scene of bison plunging off a cliff here. And they say these were two different periods of history here. And I think there should be a lot of questions raised about this. My intuition is telling me that this story just might not be the way it went, but they said Paleo Indians and then people around 2,800 years ago had a massive bison kill. And this is where they slaughtered some of the remains here. Let's just look into this a little further. It says this rock shelter was a scene of a series of prehistoric bison jumps. Native American hunters stampeded herds of bison over the edge of the cliff overhanging the shelter in a narrow box canyon that empties into the Rio Grande near Langtree, Texas. The bison plunged, plunged to their deaths on a rock pile at the opening of a shelter. There are historically documented accounts of Northern Plains Indian groups using this effective, if indiscriminate, technique of killing bison. Bonfire Shelter has a twin distinction of both the earliest and the southernmost bison jump site known in North America. And it says the first definitive jump episodes at Bonfire Shelter occurred over 11,700 years ago or 9,700 BC or earlier during the Paleo Indian era at the end of the last ice age. At least three separate events created what archaeologists call Bone Bed II a layer in the shelter's deposits containing bones of a now extinct species of buffalo, as well as a number of stone tools, including Folsom and Plainview projectile points. So it seems that roughly around the end of the Younger Dryas period, there was an event here and buffalo stampeded over this cliff near this rock shelter. I find it very interesting. This happened right near the end of the Younger Dryas period. And this species that is down here, a whole bunch of them, is now extinct. Was it, were these Clovis hunters doing this? Now, Native Americans down the line, they did hunt animals in kind of a herding fashion. But were they doing this 11,700 years ago or so? I think that's a huge question. There wasn't very many stone tools found at that layer at all. But after something happened at the end of the Younger Dryas, it says, almost 8,000 years later, late archaic hunters succeeded on at least one occasion in driving hundreds of modern bison off the same cliff and into bonfire shelter, forming the massive deposit known as Bone Bed 3. The specialists who studied the bones argued that Bone Bed 3 represents a single Extra, extraordinary event during which at least 800 bison, almost all cows and yearlings, plunged to their deaths. It says a decaying mass built up heat and gases until it spontaneously busted into an intense blaze that reduced most of the bison bones to ashes. Wow. It says bone bed three, the thick deposit of burned bone left by the bonfire yielded broad triangular points as well as other stone tools used to butcher the bison. So were they hunted or were people coming along and taking advantage of some tragic scene here where a bunch of bison plunged to their death? I wonder. Here is a look from the site. Did the decaying mass just burst into fire or did some event on earth cause them to burst into fire? Well, I wonder about that too. Here's a view from the site where they are pointing out areas that need more protective materials put up. Here is a look at some of the bones here, some burnt, fragmented bones from Bone Bed 3. Here is a look at the rock shelter down here. It seems 
things were put in place down here, maybe little living areas. At a site very close by, here are some bowl-shaped depressions used for grinding grain of some sort. Here's another look at the work being done at the site a while ago. Here's another look. They're pointing out certain things here, layering. Here it says a view of the central area of bonfire shelter from the north, the massive rock pile, fallen root blocks upon which most of the bison fell is visible to the right. Here's a look at that again. I just thought this was very interesting. To sum it up here, it says archaeologists from the University of Texas at Austin partially excavated bonfire shelter in 1963-64, and that preceded the construction of the Armistead Reservoir. 20 years later, in 83-84, another group of archaeologists returned to bonfire shelter to further investigate deeply buried bone deposits containing the remains of now extinct Pleistocene mammals, including horse, bison, camel, Mammoth and antelope. The investigations found five separate layers of bone below the two layers of bone termed bone bed one by the original excavators. The earliest bone bed deposits at bonfire date to over 14,100 years ago. It is not certain that humans were involved in the deaths and dismemberments of the animals in the lower bone beds. No stone tools were found, but both groups of Archaeologists hypothesized that humans were involved in the deaths of some of these animals based on bone breakage patterns and other evidence. But did they just come upon this scene and take advantage of something that was strange? Or all these bison and other extinct megafauna ran off this cliff? So the question on my mind, if human activity doesn't seem to be involved in the earliest layers of these animals, well, what caused them at the end of the Younger Dryas to run off this cliff? I really wonder. That is the video on the Bonfire Rock Shelter from Texas here. That is a bit of a mystery to me a long time ago. There's a tremendous bison kill or an event here that caused a bunch of bison to run off this cliff. That's a pretty fascinating story. Never know what you're going to find. That is a little bit of ancient Texas there. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.